Heads up, watch out, watch out, watch out. Where's it going? <laughs> I'm trying to fly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That thing exploded. <laughs> what even happened? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, do I win? I literally am the only one left. Do I win? Yeah, man, victory loop. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Victoria. Look at this thing. No! <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Kevin gave me a souvenir. How do you hit me over there and still fly back with one missing prop all the way to here? It's out of the tri blades, one of the three blades was remaining, and it, it wasn't enough to like really fly it. The vibrations were really bad, but it was enough that I could like level it out, see the hill, fly towards the hill, and just kind of put it <laughs> near the top of the hill. Well, and, and now I have decorations and some modifications. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. One of the greatest things about this hobby is building with friends. And Phil Freybot, Schizo, or John Davis, and also Stinger Swarm, whose name is Kevin Daughtry, were a blast to build with. We're ready. <laughs> These are amazing pilots that fly multi-rotors that have recently jumped over into fixed wing that we're teaching how to fly, but I wanted them to evaluate version two of the Versacopter. Okay. And they were more than happy to do so. So while we were down to Georgia and packed up our arrows, we packed up our sparrows, and we travel down with some kits. Now, one thing I want to encourage you guys is whenever you travel with airplanes, make sure obviously pack your lipo bags and things like that, but also watch out for these things going through conveyor belts. Yeah, you had a little bit of trouble with the Sparrow. It rolled it into a, a burrito. Oh, cool. Do you have a picture of that? I do. How sad. It was, but you know what? We actually reformed it, and I didn't have time to build because I was working with the other guys. I actually reshaped it with my hands, and it flew fantastic. Now, you had a little trouble yourself going through airport security. Yeah, yeah, uh, apparently um, the TSA agents like to- uh, Randomly. Randomly. Uh, select someone. Select somebody and- uh, You were the random selection. Yeah. Was that weird? Yeah. It's weird just hearing about it. It's still weird to this day. But you know what? I checked out clean. We oh, got good. out of Georgia and we had an amazing build night. Oh, good. After a crazy night of building, we got to scope out a beautiful place and have a whole day of enjoying flight. What do you got here, John? This is the new flight test Sparrow that I just built last night, and it's the coolest thing that I've ever seen. Wait a minute, you just said that and about got... the arrow. Uh, that's true. That one's also the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, we got an Emax 2204, 2300 kV motor with a Gemfan 5050 tri blade. And we have Emax ESC inside. We're ready to maiden this thing. Seems a little overkill. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> We got uh, the Emax motor with the uh, HQ54 tri blade. I'm not going as crazy as the other guys. And uh, th three cell up in the nose.
kind of setup are you using? Sham Dollar. fan 5050, dry blade, and a Koba 2204. It's gonna be crazy. Got a nice paint job too, so let's see how it goes. I have to imagine like with you guys standing up on that yeah. plateau where there's like basically like a valley like all around you, it's pretty cool to probably fly low. It was amazing. Yeah. I've never been able to fly a plane past looking down on it, but right. especially do you know 180 degrees right. while it's below you. And the way the sun shined down on it and the perspective, it was beautiful. That's awesome. All right, Kat, all right, I'm, I'm coming now. And there are rocks down there too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Someone's down. <laughs> One thing that happens is when you spend the whole day flying together, yeah. crashes are oh. inevitable. That's gonna happen. Yeah, with the prop in the back going forward and the way the nose is designed, they took a ton of abuse. Oh! You're good, you're good, pull up. Oh! Watch out! <laughs> nice! Oh, oh no! The wind stops right when I launch it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> what? And what are awesome about these? <laughs> Mid airs, throwing them into the ground, crashing them in the ground, figure nines. It really held up. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a few weeks ago, we got the amazing opportunity to be a part of the AMA Expo out in Ontario, California. Not, not Canada. Canada. We wouldn't go to Canada this time of year. No. Uh, and it was really, really cool. Not only oh. did we get to be a part of the Expo, but we actually had our own room. It was a ballroom, and so we danced. And a huge thank you for the AMA for letting us have the area to dance. But yeah. more importantly, build yeah. some planes at. That's right. So what we did was we got to be uh, part of the make and take. Yeah. Uh, so we actually designed a plane specifically for that event uh, so that families, groups could come in and build one of our uh, speed build kits. Yep. And what this is, is the FT Sparrow. Yeah. Now the FT Sparrow had a lot of things and it was all really around the inspiration that the AMA gave us. And we kind of changed things up. Previous make and takes was where adults mainly worked with children. Mm -hmm. This time we wanted it to be a family make and take. Right. And that's really where our heart is with Flight Fest and all these different environments. We want families building together, flying together, and ultimately crashing yeah. and repeating the whole same process over again. So the Sparrow was designed so that it could be built in roughly under 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, that's without any electronics. Um, and really, it's a really simple build. At the same time, it teaches all the techniques you need to build, I think we have like almost 40 designs out, mm -hmm. with A folds, B folds, C folds, fold over wings. Right. Um, and it can all be done without the use of a razor blade. Right, and it was all built with one sheet of foam as well. Yeah, so cheap, economical, simple, and fast. And there's no way we could have pulled this off without the army of volunteers yeah. that came from the flight test community. And guys, we can't thank you enough. I don't know if we have all the names here of all the different people, but literally people travel from quite a distance away mm -hmm. just to give up their own time and make sure people had a great ex experience in the hobby. Right. Now we had an online pre-registration to be able to come in and do the make and take. And there were so many people that wanted to be involved in it that we actually started to run out of the kits. We actually brought almost 80 kits beyond what we needed. And we used up every single one. That was over 200 airplanes. Yeah. So we want to give a big thank you to two guys in particular, Wayne and Garth Bolton. Uh, they actually gave up their spot. They pre-registered, but they gave up their spot so that somebody else could have the experience of building the FT Sparrow. So Wayne and Garth, thank you so much. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. So with free flights, it's kind of difficult to launch it. And Peter came up with a really great launching mechanism that we're actually going to have free plans for and also maybe eventually a speedboat kit for mm -hmm. schools to utilize. But we partnered with Karengi Airships. And if you guys haven't seen the episode with Karengi Airships, that was the episode where we were at the F3 Expo. They had this amazing flying billboard yeah. that had amazing agility, but it just looked incredible. They came down with a flight test skin and entertained the kids with an HD downlink, but also 
carried Peter's launching mechanism to give the kids a great interactive experience. Yeah, it was really cool. Once the kids got done building the sparrows, they could actually attach the planes to the launching mechanism, and the, it's a blimp, right? Yeah. Airship. Airship. Would take it up and launch the planes off, and the kids had a great time with it. Kind of gave a controlled throw, and that way we could dial it in and get the longest glide possible. It is a really great tool where you take kids and you can build planes, and then let them see flight in a controlled environment with a controlled toss and how to optimize you know, glide slope, uh, angle of attack, all those different things to get the longest possible glide. Then they can emulate that with throwing it by hand. So again, we wanna say a big thank you to Karangi Airships, the AMA, and all the volunteers who came out to help us at the AMA Expo to provide a great building experience for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no way we could have pulled off the AMA Expo. We drained the whole entire shop to go down there and, and do this event, but we would have been helpless. Yeah. There's no way we could have pulled it off without you guys, and also, this design was brought directly from the needs that were generated from the community to make this kind of experience possible. Right. And we're looking forward to also bringing this outside into schools mm -hmm. and into other groups that can use the building techniques and also the building group mentality to build community, educate, and empower people to fall in love with light. Oh yeah, all through the FT STEM project, right? Yes. FTSTEM.com is where we're hosting our new curriculum yes. that actually meets national standards that can be used for educational purposes in schools or wherever you learn stuff. Yes, it's gonna be a full K through 12 curriculum curriculum and we're going to be using aviation to empower people, inspire them, but also educate. Right. And we didn't take education lightly. This has the ability to go from science, technology, engineering, and math, but also go into the arts, into literacy, mm -hmm. and also community building mentalities. So we have a store for this. So if you're a teacher or educator of any kind and you want to use the curriculum, you can actually get uh, flight test products at a discounted rate if you go to store.ftstem.com. And at that store, you're going to be able to find all of our products, including the Sparrow, in bulk form. Format. That means they come to you case by case and have order quantities that can fill your whole school or just a classroom. And it also gives a bulk discounts on electronics mm -hmm. and there's a beautiful amazing curriculum designed by Jake Marshall who's an award-winning teacher who's actually pioneered this full STEM curriculum to make sure it meets all the national standards needed. Another thing that we're excited to launch is FT Groups. FT Groups, and this is where really, we're a cyber world. We oftentimes connect to each other through the internet, but this hobby demands social interaction. Mm -hmm. If you wanna have success and you wanna have it quickly, having a buddy to build with, having a buddy to fly with, having someone to help you pick up the pieces when everything goes wrong, get someone you- Someone to dry your tears when you crash. <laughs> uh, FT Groups is designed just for that. FT Groups is not just a social site where people get up and drop a pin on the map, although that does have that feature. Mm -hmm. It's a group where people have the ability to find each other, to fly together, to build together most importantly, and also to encourage each other and help each other get through the hobby even quicker and have a great experience. This is all done with a culture of flight tests where people are first and we want to encourage and empower each other. So look forward to more announcements on FT groups coming in the near future. And also the FT Sparrow both in bulk format for free flights if you're in an educational environment mm -hmm. or if you're looking to make it RC. They're both available in both formats along with the free plans and free build video. Nice. All right, see you guys next time.